talk for a second, if you can, about obviously uh, the fund is invested um, in one particular IP concept, which is Teshkil, the 99. What's your vision for um, content uh, and media investment uh, from your fund's perspective over the next few years? I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, Teshkil is a big investment, uh, and it has, and it, it's a global sort of, we see as a regional global investment. Yeah. So, uh, we we want to see and we want to see how this pans out. Like the strategy is in, is put in place. We are in. We the company has secured the broadcasting with Cartoon Network with Hub in US. So it has the traction. So we want to see how it how it uh, translates into revenue. However, we have looked at other IP related uh, 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 companies and and we basically keep on uh, navigating these sort of opportunities both as an add-on or both as uh, new investments. Yeah. And do you see in the last few years an increase in the quality of investable uh, content businesses? Region is limited in the sense that, like, yeah. you see, like, scale at which we are, as Riyadh is talking about, because not an in angel fund. Yeah. So, but we are invest we are looking for companies which have three to four years of experience, uh, of operating history, and some some validation of the concept. So in that space, you don't find many champions at this point in time. Uh, there are few in every country, but not with a regional uh, reach. Uh, but yes, on the early stage, we see a lot, both in the, in the online content, both, both, both in in IPs, like for example, for Abish yeah. so There are a lot of opportunities that we see. Fantastic. Um, very much appreciate Farhan's time. He, I know he has to head off for, um, for some meetings and so forth, but um, are there any particular questions in the audience? Does anyone want to ask opportunity to talk directly to an investor? So, great. Sorry, hi. Um, thank you for coming. It's Akram from Hala FM. Um, okay. My question is very simple. Uh, from a, from a uh, startup point of view, uh, where, are the you know, where is the entrepreneur most likely to see the most returns? Is he like to see it at the startup stage? Of the equity, or is it like three or four years down the road? I think uh, big, big bucks come after three to four years because you, whoever is buying or whoever is investing in your company wants you to be part of that. So they want to remain with you. They want you because because of that entrepreneur and investor is making an investment. So he, the investor wants that entrepreneur to stick around till two three years till whenever the next exit is possible. So you will get you will see most of your return in the second, third round, not in the first. Anything else? Quickly, any other quick questions? By the way, you will see the 99 at 4 o'clock. Right? Yeah, we're seeing. So we're, we're going to see the, the specific uh, production that, uh, that Farhan talked about, which is the preview of Tashkil uh, Media Group's 99, 80-minute uh, feature-length version at 4 p.m. But sorry, there's a question there. Yeah. Hi. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Mehid. Um, I wanted to ask you a question about valuation. So, say an entrepreneur's got an idea in, in creating content, uh, but it's an idea on paper, right? It's a concept. They've studied it, they've researched it, they see a market, and they meet an investor. The investor's interested. Now, it's about valuation, and therefore, what stake the, the, the investor takes in the company for the money that he's putting in. How does one go about navigating that space? Okay, uh, as I was explaining earlier, I think the most, it's, it's very, it's not simple exercise. First of all, valuing a company which just has the IP or ID at this point in time. However, the, this, the, this approach that we normally take in that, like where and how this brand can be monetized, i.e. is there, is there a can we monetize it through broadcasting? Can we bro can we monetize it through a licensing deal? Where, how, what is the value of that? By looking at various case studies, for example, Pokemon, which was Nintendo's super hit uh, series, it was launched as a game early on, but it, in US it became hit as a TV series. So we, you need to study all the all those historical uh, benchmarks, how a particular brand has evolved. And it's at the end of the day a very judgmental call. Like you really believe that this concept is unique, is that it has a global or like a regional reach. That is where we attach value. Just simply uh, 
projecting cash flow and then discounting it back and applying a multiple is not a very realistic approach. It does not give you a, a real value. So that's why when I say validation is important, like in, in Tashkeel's case, for example, when you have partners like Endemol and when DC Comics has issuing a crossover issue with when Tashkeel characters are appearing side by side with Superman and Batman, it basically some sort of a validation that well, you know there is something in the concept that can in future be monetized in the same way as these characters are nowadays. So you know the, this is a judgmental thing, but these are the factors that you can quantify to an extent. And what Pokemon did in the first three years, well, how it evolved, what was their what was their go to market strategy? Is this is is this firm following the same go to market strategy? Is it Power Rangers strategy was different than good uh, uh, Pokemon? So these are the things that we need to evaluate and we evaluate it when we basically making our investments. So these are the things. Um, thanks for that. I, I, I understand your point of view from a company, uh, for a company that's already in operation three to four years or maybe eight years like a, uh, like a 99 uh, character company. But I'm, I'm trying to understand from a startup point of view. You know, say I'm a startup, I'm sitting across the table from an investor. He says, I'm putting in all the money, it's all my risk, I'm going to take 90% of the company, give you 10. Um, if you're interested, continue working, or I'm going to take your idea, go to someone else and get him to execute it. How, how does one navigate that? You're an investor. I, the, way I, the, the way we did it is that we basically look at similar concepts. At stay, like there, there are unique concepts, but the industry might be same. So you might have a niche in a particular sector. So we try to see how what's happening in that particular space. Global media space, there, there are companies which are operating in, in print, there are companies which are in mobile. So basically you can get, even there are some subsections, if you go to Disney website or Disney report, they can, or Warner, they can give you separate numbers for their different lines of business, how they have evolved. So this is this is an analytical exercise. It's, there is no multiple that I can say, okay, it could be five times your initial investment or two times your initial time. You spent about seventeen thousand dollars. So it's not something that mechanically need. It's a judgment exercise. What the what the buyer believes this brand or IP is capable of. Sorry, I cannot give you multiple approach or I cannot say that it's a discounted approach that I can use. But these are the factors that you need to uh, the buyer like us have to. Before making a call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, that's it. Great. Thank you. Thanks for having me.